my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing what's on my iPhone. So this video is actually requested by these people right here. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for that. And <laughs> I know, I know this video is probably from last year, but it's requested, so I'm going to do it for you guys. And <laughs> to start that with. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen me before, hello, I'm Kirsty and welcome to my channel. So make sure you subscribe down below, turn on notification bell, so you know when will be my next post. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So let me just scoot over to the side. So I'm going to do my what's on my iPhone right here. So I'm going to screen record it for you guys. Before we start, I'm actually using an iPhone X Max, which is 256 gigabytes and in gold color. But I'm just using a case for this one, which I showed you on my last video. You should check that out. Let's start. So for this page, um, it's actually more of like the built-in applications that an iPhone has. So the first app that you're going to see is FaceTime. If you're an iPhone user, and you would probably know what FaceTime is, but if not, FaceTime is an app where you can both actually call your friends and family with another iPhone or iPad. So the next one is calendar, photos, camera, clock, maps, weather, notes. So as I'm saying, this is all like the built-in applications. So you have reminders, stocks, videos, iTunes store, and of course the app store where we download all the apps and, and then books, health, home, wallet, and find my iPhone actually set this up because you know and just in case if I lost my iPhone which I am trying not to um, next is the settings and then clips, contact, watch, and Apple store so for the watch, if you have an Apple watch, then you can sync it right here. And an Apple store is probably you can buy more stuff of um, Apple products. Alright, so the next page. I actually put them in a folder because I try to be organized with my phone at least. And yeah, so the first folder is the extras. So these are another apps that comes with the phone. So tips, podcasts, find friends garage band and itunes hue which is i don't really use so the next one is if you see there's an emoji right there so a wrench a wrench a wrench yeah a wrench so these are like you know like the voice memo compass measure i'm not even sure how to use that um calculator we all know we need that so key to key what keynote numbers acrobat pages and speed test so for the speed test i do use this one just so just to check how my speed is going so yes that's really good and then the next one you'd see the emoji which is a camera so this album is more of like the editing apps that i use i use polar Darkroom, Lightroom CC, Visco, 1967, Square Ready is, is an app where if you want to make your photo square, and Snapseed. So for this one, actually the, the app that I mostly use is Snapseed because in editing photos, for example, right here, so I can, I can just actually like, you know, choose a filter and then, you know, like adjust the brightness, the contrast, and all that. So, uh, for Visco, yes, it's actually one of my favorite apps because it has a really good filter. That's all about it. Wow, me. I'm filming. <laughs> okay, next is a gaming folder, which, yes, I do have a lot of games. Not all of them I use now. So I have Holio, PUBG Mobile, yes I do use that. So if you want to play with me, you should probably add me. So Light Chaser, this is so old. I don't really play it anymore. Uh, Mobile Legends, yes, sometimes I do play that. You can still add me for that. And then Paper.io2. So basically in this game, 
it is actually fun. Um, you know, make your island bigger, make sure that it's big enough so you win. That's it. And then Identity 5, um, this is like a killer survival game that I really like to play, but I actually stopped playing it. Uh, it's because it's it's more fun to play it with friends. And next one is Golf Clash. I don't really play this anymore. Um, Soul Destiny, another RPG game, but it's more like kind of like a money game. And then Rules of Survival, which I don't use. I just downloaded this because I want to try it out. So that's it. And then Zynga Poker, which I play with my friend Mikey. Hi, Mike. And then. Fortnite, I play it sometime, and then the other one is Cyber Hunter, which is fun. So this one is kind of like a PUBG, but a little bit of Fortnite, so it's fun. If you want to play that with me, you can add me that too. Okay, so, and then the last one is the Omelette Arcade, where I stream and play with my friends. Let's move on to the next folder because I have so many applications, so bear with me. So the next one is an emoji where it's like a chat bubble. So these are all like my social media apps. So my Messenger, WhatsApp, Fiber. I'm not gonna open those guys because those are like my personal space. Personal, 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 personal. <laughs> and then next is a Snapchat if you can see. So hello. <laughs> you can add me on that. I'll put the link down below. And then Facebook. Instagram, yes, this is my profile. Maybe you can add me on Instagram. Um, yes, I haven't really posted much lately, but I still have, you know, I have 60 posts. And on Twitter, so if you have Twitter, maybe you want to follow me. So here's my Twitter profile. <laughs> follow me on that. And um, Skype and YT Studio. So YT Studio is for people who has YouTube channels. So this is where you track all of your videos, your like the progress. So it's really cool. It's helpful. And maybe you can subscribe to my channel. And next is the Discord where you can play and chat. And then Xbox and Zoom. So Zoom is more like a, if you're gonna have a meeting with people or you know from work, you can actually use this and like have a meeting online. All right. So next one is my kind of like a movies all application or where I binge watch. So I have Netflix, YouTube, and Pinterest. I'm not sure if that's the thing, but like. Sometimes there's video in it, guys, so <laughs> Pinterest, but actually this is where I get all my wallpaper, so thank you, Pinterest. Uh, and then Camera Connect, where I transfer my photos from my camera to my phone. And then iFlix, TikTok, I've used this before, but I stopped using it. Rabbit is actually so cool because you can actually watch it with friends. You can watch movies with friends, even though they're like far away. They're in a different country. Next is I Want TV, which is popular in the Philippines, and then Twitch. So the next one is my food folder. So you see it's a pizza right there. So Itigo is where you could like book a table and then it has like really big discounts, which is awesome. And the next one is Tasty because I like to look for recipes. And actually, Tasty is one of like the best ones, especially in YouTube. They make it look easy, but sometimes it's hard, but you know what I mean. And then of course, Starbucks PH, we all know we love Starbucks, yes. And then McDonald's, like, you know, if I want something to eat, maybe in the middle of the night, McDonald's is my savior. And next one is an emoji, you can see, um, it's like a folder, so this one is where my files or like you know external files i don't know so files is from the phone itself it's already a built-in app and next is an iExpand drive which is my external hard drive so i actually connect my 
USB to my phone and then transfer from phone to USB, USB to phone, that one. And next is the cam scanner. So this is my phone scanner, which is super helpful. So if you want to scan any documents, you should have this one because it's awesome. And lastly is the documents, which is I'm still new to this one. So I actually downloaded this one. It's because they said I could download music videos with this one, but I really haven't tried it yet. So hopefully I get to try it soon. So the next one is my travel or navigation. So of course, yes, the Google map, Waze, Grab, and Marriott, if you want to have a staycation, you can just book it with your phone. And Traveloka, if you want to go somewhere, fly to visit America, Canada, whatever you want to go. Um, uh, you can book with Traveloka because this is not a sponsored video, but they actually have good deals. Um, the next one, if you can see, we have an emoji, which is a cash because these are like more of like my bank, um, shopping applications that I use. So BPI Mobile is my bank. Paymaya hey is my virtual credit card because I don't really have a credit card. And next is the Shopee. So this is where you can shop, you know, affordable stuff. And then Globe One is for my postpaid app. And next is the Buy It Center. If you have like any bills to pay, you can actually use this one. And then next one is the Globe Rewards. So if you're a prepaid user and you've you know you've been adding credit to your member, then you, you get points. You all know that. <laughs> and the next one is the Canon Red, which I registered my camera for an additional two years warranty. So that's really helpful. Alright, so we're almost done guys, we're almost done. And the next one is the music. So there's an emoji music right there. So I have my music and Spotify. But if you open my music, I don't really have any music in my phone. Because I do just listen music from Spotify. So yes. And the last folder is for vlogging, which is my favorite. Because before I used to film and edit with my phone. So these are the apps that I use. Probably I can make a video of that. Hmm, how I edit or what are the apps that I use for editing. Yeah. So yeah, I do use Pixar. This is like my best friend. I love this one. This is where I make my thumbnails. So I love it. So the motion portrait is something like a picture and then you can like make it move. So make it to animate your picture. Is that what it is? But yeah, and then InShot is like a picture you wanted to convert into like a video, so it's actually useful. And the next one is a pocket video. This one is actually cool. I tried using this one, if you can see. I started editing with this one, but the thing is, uh, I don't like how my quality, it changes. Like what, right when you save the picture, it added, um, it added, it added what? It adds a filter. To it and I don't like that but it's actually good if you can you know if you're okay with that then maybe you can use that and then Z camera uh, I'm not sure what this one is but I do I did download it for a reason but I don't know but <laughs> it's another um, editing app I think and then Fonto is where I add the text for my thumbnail so if you can see like it's curved or tilted so it's this one and then this is my ultimate favorite editing app which is Splice um, this one actually is not free actually you have to pay for like every week but the thing is this is one of like the most reliable editing app especially if you're vlogging and like making videos so this one is actually good and of course the iMovie which comes with every iPhone, every iPad, every Apple product in the world is the iMovie. It's actually good too because if you want to edit videos and um, you know make slideshow, movie, trailer, this is actually helpful because it's free. Yeah. Um and then the ones in the bottom is of course my phone, Safari, where I browse, and my email. If you can see, there's 151 that I haven't read because, you know, we all are lazy for that. And then lastly is my message application that is a built-in app. So I'm not going to open that because it's my private, personal thing. So yeah, 
So yeah, that's all the apps that I got. I think if I count all the apps that I have, I probably have, I probably have 78 applications. So we did, we did all that. <laughs> all right so that's it for my what's on my iphone i do hope you enjoyed this video and yeah don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and comment down below if you have any suggestions that you want me to film and i'm going to see